But he has been investigating an island, an edict, higher than what ether encompasses, above that of time, space, and life, fate.
before Aldir's form disappeared from view, I saw his gaze turned straight towards me. My eyes flew open, all three of them, as my mind went back to the moments before I finished casting more of them, when I felt an alien presence watching me, almost as if some greater deity, a true god, had arrived to witness my lowest moment and judge me by it. A palpable chill ran down my transient form, as his giant golden eyes bore into mine with frigid, deadly appetites. He knew I was watching. My gaze was locked for what seemed like eternity, even as my form was dragged back away from Elmenor and Dyker. I hadn't known who it could have been at the time. But now, Arthur Raymond. strong hands wrapped around my own. Aldir was floating right in front of me, all his eyes open, giving me an understanding smile. Ether isn't enough, he said simply, and then I understood. Unfolding my hands, I let Aldir press his own on top of the egg. Instinctively, I activated Realm Heart to watch the process. Aldir's mana, bright, strong, and pure, was falling rapidly into the stone. A minute passed, then two, then five. He's gone. I hope you know that. It's your fault, and you'll never, ever be able to fix it. Arthur shouldn't have saved you. You should be dead, and he should be here with me. 